welcome back to my channel, Marsha Smush and Stuff, or welcome to my channel. If you are new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Make sure that you watch some of the video, otherwise YouTube marks it as spam and it does not count. And also hit that thumbs up button that definitely helps the channel to continue to grow and YouTube to notice me just a tad bit more. Also ring the bell for notifications and so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. So with all that said, I have a Dollar General and a Walmart haul for you today. Super excited to share this with you. Wanted to get out, get it out there to you. So I'm just doing a lot of recording today, but with that being said, let's jump in and see what I found. So guys, if you have not been to the Dollar Tree lately, check in because it is well worth it it's worth the trip if you're passing by there anyway on the way to the grocery store you know they also have essential items so you know you can get a lot of things there too check out their new spring decor for things like this look at that it looks distressed already absolutely nothing needs to be done to this little guy maybe a little touch up on the paint there on the succulent but how cute is that it has the little cab of the truck with the uh, little succulent in it and again it just looks distressed and it was only two dollars you guys I hope you can see that I'll turn it both ways just in case but there is that one and then my aunt picked me up this one to put on my two-tiered tray. If you missed that DIY, it was the Valentine's DIY collaboration with a friend of mine, Zaina from OK at Home DIY, and I will list that below in the description box. But she picked me up this Love Makes a uh, Wonderful Ride, or Makes a Beautiful Ride with the Bicycle and the Little Floating Hearts. I, I definitely like anything, again, with wheels. I can't remember who said it, but yes, anything but rolls. I like it. A dollar, you guys. So that's what she brought to me. But what, I, what other items I picked up was a, this cute little camper. They had them in several styles. It's been in the bag for a moment, so I'll have to adjust that later. But it says welcome right here. The tires are kind of standing over it right now, but maybe it's supposed to. I'm not quite sure, but it's the little camper, and how shabby, chic, and cute is that? Again, scrapbook paper, but this is popping off. It's just too cute. I love the little, um, what would you call that? I can't think of it right now. Valance, but the window looks real. It's not... But it looks real. It looks like you could literally see through, especially on camera. And that one too. So that was $3. So hope you can see that there as well. Maybe if I hold it like that, you can see it better. But anyway, $3. So you can't beat that. That's, that's a very good deal. I'm not finding any of the gnomes or trucks at the Dollar Tree. So went to the Dollar General by my daughter's house. Also picked up this adorable little mason jar sign. It's got the wire hanger, which I love, and they're stapling them on now, which is perfect because it's not glued down. You don't have to worry about the holes. And again, it has a real metal top, and this is just scrapbook paper, so you could definitely redo this. It was only a dollar. That is Great. I'm surprised I didn't pick up a couple of these, but this one says let your dreams grow and that is what I am definitely trying to do. And if we hit 500, I will do another giveaway. Yes. So once we reach 500 subscribers, I will do another giveaway. So just wanted to say that. And then this, I love cows and I love this chicken wire behind it. You can do this so easily, but again, it was only a dollar, you guys. So 
you just can't beat it when you find things like this. They had a pick that said oink, and I can't remember what the other one was right now, but they had a few different designs. So definitely check in at the Dollar General. Yes, guys, because they were having a massive clearance on their Christmas stuff, and it seems like it was forever ago, but it just was a, a little over a month ago because this is February 1st that I'm filming this. I don't know when you'll see it. Again, trying to play catch up. But all of their Christmas items were a quarter at the Dollar General. So this one, I don't want to take them completely apart because I will be using these next year or crafting in July for Christmas, but it says, um, this one just says Merry Christmas and Holly and Jolly for the second one. So it's a two count. They were originally a dollar, marked down to 25 cents. I also picked this one up that says Joy and then the other one Snowflakes, but I love this one. And who know, you never know when you need gift bags, so there is the snow print super cute loving all of these i did grab a few of these at a quarter that that was four for a dollar so you just could not go wrong with these at 25 cents you guys that was awesome so i do apologize i'm going to grab this bag because i've done this once before got glitter all over the place but they also had some Christmas florals. And again, 25 cents. And guys, these retailed for $3 and they were only a quarter a piece. So I picked up two picks. That's 50 cents. I came out of there with a grand total with a couple of essential items as well at only $11. That's way better than I do at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> So don't forget to check in at the Dollar General. I know a lot of you are, and they're being very comparable to the Dollar Tree guys. Also, so now let's go ahead and jump into Walmart. So, wow, just amazed at all of the amazing clearance items that they have. So they're switching over to spring right at the end of January. So some amazing deals on jeans, shoes, um, house slippers, but grabbed myself a pair of these. They're super cute and they are size eight and they are wide width. That's just, they were only a dollar and you can't go wrong with that grabbed my daughter a pair as well. I can't see the sticker anywhere on them, but they were only a dollar. Yes, super excited about that. Went down the crafting aisle and found this. This is so cool. It's a paper and craft storage case with handles. So you can put your scrapbook paper in it and you can actually see what you have because you can see me. <laughs> But here's the handle that you carry it by. And I have tons of scrapbook paper. So this was a great buy at only $2.84. Yes. So if you don't own one of these and you have a lot of scrapbook paper, definitely pick one up for that price. Under $3. It is a score. You will not pay that at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. So just want to keep going. I also, because with the Watcher Challenge, which I, yeah, I did bring over, almost done with my second bottle by noon, with the Water Challenge, I have lost weight. And I will update you on the six on how everything went for the Water Challenge. I'll also link that video below if you missed it so you can recap and be caught up. But... With that being said, I lost inches. I literally lost a dress size. So I needed some nude pants because nothing was fitting. And I went and bought some and they were way too big. So 
These were in the teens or misses section, and they're just the skinny jeans, and they're by No Boundaries. They're originally $7.78. These are just black pants. Um, the waist is stretchy, so that's good, you know, if I do put on any pounds, which I don't plan on, but, um, you know, gives you some movement there. But these are in a size 15. Yay! In the misses, not the women's. Like, wasn't sure, bought a 17, and they were way too big. Had to take them back and get the 15. These, you guys, were a dollar. I would show you, but it would be very awkward because I don't have a big tripod. I would show you the capris I'm currently wearing. They are Levi's and they were a dollar. Yes, that is insane. But again, I'm sure Capri's, that's fine with me for a dollar. Levi's, yes, I am all in. So just wanted to share a few more items. So I did pick these up for my grandson. They are just like sweats, but um, they got... The little pockets there and they are extra large size 14 to 16 they were normally six dollars five ninety six two dollars each you guys so I also picked him up the matching shirt to go with and that way he has plenty of room to grow into he's extremely tall He's not quite yet eight years old, so he'll have some growing room, and it's comfy as well. So that was an excellent score, $4 for, for an entire outfit for my grandson. So that is awesome. And then to match my black jeans, I picked up this sweater. I do have one similar, but it was on sale for seven dollars so you guys see that there it's kind of like a throwback to the 80s I think because it's color block and you see the sleeves are gray it's black on the back it's black around the neck and again if I had a bigger tripod I would do a try on I did get this one in in a extra extra large simply because I like them to be baggy and just in case it draws up in the wash I'm covered but again this was on sale for seven dollars so my outfit only cost me eight dollars because the jeans were a dollar that is awesome wish the Dollar Tree sold clothes <laughs> but again it's not all about the Dollar Tree Walmart has some great deals too, and this hand sanitizer, you guys, was only 50 cents. It's the Rose Hand Sanitizer, eight ounces, and you see that right there. Great deal. Couldn't find it this time last year, and it's everywhere now for 50 cents, and they were charging so much more. You guys know it last year, so great to have on hand. And this actually smells really good. It doesn't smell like a lot of alcohol. It's actually sealed. So I'm getting a whiff of it even with the seal on it. But again, when you see these great deals, hand sanitizer for 50 cents, someone, if you don't need it, someone you know does. And I assure you of that. So that was a great deal too. Here is my Walmart receipt. I do believe. Uh, I think it was, but not bad. Not long as you see there. Did not spend that much to be completely honest uh, because I did have to take the one jeans back, so I had a gift card to use, so that was excellent. So I only had to pay out of pocket, I think it was eight or nine dollars. But I did want to share really quickly with you 
what I picked up for my granddaughter. <laughs> and she is only five months old. But I got her this cute little shirt. Again, only $2. It says, Mommy plus me equals besties. And that is for sure. And check out the little jeans to match. I love this little detail. The fray around the legs. That is ever so cute. And these guys were only five dollars so six dollars or i'm sorry seven dollars for an outfit for her that is so super stinking cute we did get these in a 12 month even though she's almost six months but that's okay because she's growing quite fast and the longer they can wear them the better <laughs> so last but not least these were two dollars each they say 350 but they were actually two dollars this cute little and it's the grananimals so they always put these on sale at the end of uh winter right when they start putting the spring clothes out so if you have little kids go to walmart right now <laughs> because seriously they have amazing clearance two dollars for these and you know how quickly they get um, picked over. These say $3.50, but they rang up for $2 as well. And they did say $2. But, again, $4 for an outfit. You just can't beat it. But thank you to each and every one of you. I appreciate all of you guys so much. And all of your kind comments. And until the next time, I just want to show you my gratitude and appreciation to each and every one of you all my new subscribers my original subscribers thank you again and until the next time friends i will see you then bye